What's up, Father's Army? I saw Neo Anime Girls there. Now that the mustache has grown in a little bit more, it looks more ethnic, eh? Definitely looking like a Mexican fashion of peace. Anyone see any interesting uh, stories on uh, Instagram? Anyone? Yes, Papa Giuseppe, Bill Gates is buying farmland. You know, I thought about this a little bit last night. I thought about it a little bit this morning. Um... Dale Chance and I exchanged some DMs, which will remain private. Um, Dale, which is the only way you could categorize it when you read it for yourself, he was trolling Big Rob, trying to, I don't know, poke fun at Jay or stick it to him or in some way or whatever and um, right now Big Rob is getting trolled really 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 hard okay and something tells me that because of that he's not taking this fight seriously he's not taking McLeod seriously he's not taking any any of this seriously he has no incentive and no motivation and um, I don't have to say a word. If the messages between Dale and Rob are still up, you guys can go read them for yourself, and you you judge for yourself. Me, I'm gonna I'm gonna move on. Um, I'm still hoping that this fight, still hoping that this fight will happen, and um, I just hope that from here on out. Anyone that actually wants to see this fight happen between Big Rob Fitness and McLeod, you need we need to leave our personal issues out of it. If Dale and, and Jay have beef, fine, that's great. Let them have their beef. It cannot, whatever's going on cannot be at the expense of this fight or the mints. It cannot it cannot be at the at the expense of that. Okay? It just can't. That's where I'm at in all this. The worst thing that Dale did is that he broke my heart. So. I even had a... Uh, a a conversation with uh, Joe Piotaro. He talked me off the ledge. I just wanted to. I just wanted to shit can the whole fucking thing. Just shit can the whole fucking thing and fuck it and whatever. And, and it bothers me because we got people that really want this to happen that will make a legitimate effort. You got Neo Anime Girl. She made a great fight poster. She did that out of the kindness of her heart. Okay, she's a professional, guys. Her, shit, her stuff has been featured a few times on Adult Swim. She has her own MAGA. Okay? She's legit. She did that out of the kindness of her heart. She didn't have to do that shit. She could have charged fucking money. There are people that are making an effort for this to happen. And... and 
we got we got outside influences that want to shit all over it and distract from it. There was something that happened Monday that I didn't mention. And I didn't have to mention it because I squashed it. It's done and over. I got some news that apparently, even though they're okay with each other and they're friends, if this fight doesn't happen between McLeod and Big Rob, David Moreno has decided to step in and take Big Rob's place. Little exhibition for the fans, okay? And McLeod and Big and McLeod and David Moreno, they're they're good. There's no animosity there or anything. David Moreno just feels bad for the fans. You know what I mean? So there's a backup plan. And I believe David Moreno and, and McLeod, they're the same height. And McLeod's going to give him what? He's giving up 60 pounds? Well, McLeod gave up over 100 pounds. 120 pounds, 140 pounds with, with Jay. I'm sure David Moreno won't be a problem. So, what's up, Jim Rat? You know, and, and that's another thing about this. Again, people taking shit way too fucking personal. Or, or just over, just way, way overlooking something, okay? Like, for instance, and I shouldn't even be mentioning him, Gorilla Juice. Gorilla Juice posted that thing of Team McLeod. Great! That's great! If Gorilla Juice wants to help promote the fight, that's fine. Let him. Who cares? It only helps us. Whatever. It doesn't matter. You know, it... it God, right, right now is the wrong time to start taking shit personal. I'm fucking real. You guys might find this hard to believe. Jay find it, finds it hard to believe. I got nothing against Dale Chance. I got nothing against the guy. And for him to do what he did, it's like, dude, what, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? That's the only. I'm, I'm thinking in my head, what are, you, what are you doing? I guarantee you, at least one OG misfit is thinking the same thing. What, what are you, what are you doing? I thought we wanted to get this done. Oh, oh my God! Like I said, I. He broke my heart. He broke my heart. Zero sixty twenty eight. What did he do? You can see for yourself if they're still if they're still up, which is too late now. People have taken screenshots. They've circulated them. Um. Dale messaged Big Rob, trolling him at Jay's expense because I guess. Which is obvious. He he has a beef with Jay. Look, just like I just like I said on the Delray Misfits podcast about Brad. Brad has every right to feel the way he feels. Okay. With me, 
and I, I didn't say this on the podcast, but with me, you never have to apologize for your feelings. You feel the way you feel, that's fine. You never have to apologize for your feelings. But something like this, where you got other people that, that want to see this happen and are trying to make an effort to make it happen, you know, what, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. But I, you know, I think that's enough of that. I don't want to make this live about Dale. I want to make this. I want to make this live about the fight. The the fight needs to happen. The only problem right now is Rob is being heavily trolled. Okay, and with what Dale did last night, it just added on to the trolling. You know, that's that's another thing. Welcome to the club, Dale. Welcome to the club. You're you're a troll now. Welcome to the club. Is it Sunday? It's Throwback Thursday. I'm thinking about seventy. I'm thinking about seventy-three Marty Carlos. <coughs> I got in my time machine. Oh, to what day of the week is it? It's Thursday. April 28th. So... No way. 2022. I'm, I'm, I'm joining you from Sunday, four days ago, five days ago. I got in my police box, and I, I came forward to join this live. Wow. So so you have you have the TARDIS, time and relative dimension in space. Yes. Uh, you didn't go visit any squaws, did you? Uh yeah. I don't know if you guys remember. Dale mentioned he was he was half Cherokee. Oh shit! Does everyone remember that when Dale was half Cherokee? The only thing I have to say about the Cherokees has been it's been genetically proven through DNA mapping. Remember, we're all being told that the Native Americans, they came through the Bering Straits and they occupied this land. Well, there's evidence now that the Asians didn't come alone. Some of the Jews came through there as well, and they've linked the Cherokee to the Jews or Israelites or whatever you want to call them. Well, I met up with, with, with Dale's grandma Oh, fuck. I got a blow job. That's why he's still so short. I didn't mix the genes. I thought we weren't going to talk about family. She's been dead for a hundred years. 
You're breaking the truce. Uh, oh. I'm not very happy with Dale right now, my little buddy. I'm Skipper. He's Gilligan. He's, he, he's completely been a mint killer and um, tried to single-handedly ruin this, this fight between Big Rob and Adam McLeod, um, which, which I don't understand. Like, that's look, that's look, that's that's where I'm at in all this. Whatever whatever problem you and Dale have, that's between you guys. You guys are grown men. That's between you guys to to go and troll Rob to try to poke at you or make fun of you or whatever at the expense of the fight. I mean, it's just all I can think is what are you doing? I know there's at least one OG misfit scratching his head going what are you doing? What are you doing? Dale is being trolled um, by the same people that are trolling me and you, or you and I. <clears throat> the difference between you and I is Dale believes the screenshots. I'm going to make my he own screenshots and show everybody how easy it is. All right. Like people can do screenshots, and nobody believes them, and we all just laugh about it. But people like Dale think they're real. That's why Dale's all pissed off at me right now. And that's why Dale's trying to sabotage the fight, and that's why Dale's a meant killer. Dale is a meant killer. Anybody who falls for for that douchebag's nonsense that starts lashing out at other people and acting like a puppet is a meant killer. Well, there are those of us that still have faith that the fight can happen. If not, you know, David Moreno, out of the kindness of his heart, he's volunteered. And, and again, McLeod and, and David Moreno, they, they, don't have, they don't have any beef with each other. They're okay with each other. Dave, David just feels bad for the fans. He sees that how everyone, won, yes. you know, people, people wanted this fight to happen. And then now what the hell? Yeah, I, I, yeah. David Moreno and um, Adam are, are on good terms, so there's, and they're the same height. I've been around both of them. The, they're both Munchkins. Um, so, McLeod has no reason to turn down the fight. I know both these guys in real life. They're about the same height, same reach. We, we, we because, because they like each other, we may actually see a, a more skilled fight. I'm just saying. Yeah. What a fucking shame, man. What a fucking shame. I just shame. want any fight with, with, with Adam McLeod to go down, win or lose or draw, I don't care. Because I want to I bully Pomps into not showing up. I think Brian Pompura is the biggest scumbag in the Genovaverse. And, and, and if we get a fight that goes down... I want him to not show up because if he shows up, I'm going to fucking throw popcorn on him, fucking juju bees on him, gummy bears at him, 
fucking soda at him, ice chips at him. I'll do whatever it takes short of punch him in the face until I get him to come attack me. And then I'm going to drop his ass. Well, I, I disagree with that as far as at the fight, because we want this fight to go down. We don't want any distractions. We don't want any shenanigans. You know, it, Jay, you're way too volatile, Jay. You're way too volatile. It's all its all that meat you eat. You need to start eating more fish and more rice. Yeah, Pomps is not going to be welcome at any fight we do because I know all the tricks. I will literally throw... I will literally have someone filming me and I will throw themselves on him and make it look like he pushed me or hit me, and then I will destroy him. <clears throat> Pops is not going to show up. I hate to kill all. I hate to kill all of your hopes and dreams. He's not going to show up to this. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. He's an absolute piece of shit. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Well, I'll be cutting into his action soon. Uh, look, I'm at the dog walk. Watch your step. Yeah. Do you, remember that scene? Do you remember that scene from one of the Dirty Harry movies when he's in an elevator with, with a guy that just got off at a court hearing? And the guy starts mouthing off to him and he grabs him and he goes, you know what, you're nothing but dog shit to me. And, you, you, and when you're dog shit, a lot can happen. You can get run over by a lawnmower. You can dry up and fly away in the wind. Or you can be squashed. So be careful when the dog shits you. <laughs> You're a class act, Callahan. Real class act. I would love to I would love to have an encounter with Pomps. And and if Pomps doesn't want to throw the first punch, I will just humiliate him humiliate him like take him down to zero like throw Kool-Aid on him and then put cotton candy on his face so it sticks just Jay, trying to Jay if you toss anything at him you toss popcorn at him or a beer whatever it's considered assault I can take those charges that's you've, a mystery. You've you've got vacation time, don't you? Oh yeah. You've got vacation time, don't you? Well let me let me get this straight. I I talk to the people at my company and they're like is there anything you could do to make these people stop? And I said, well, not legally. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, shit. The, the, the second in, my, in command at my company said, well, we'll see you in two weeks if you decide to do something more uh, serious. They're reserving your seat. <laughs> Beating the fuck out of pumps is not going to get me. I can guarantee goddamn to you that. Well, it, it, it's well. Then it sounds like it'll be a major setback in that. Well, not a major setback, a minor setback in that you would have to have time to come back to Florida for a court hearing, 
you they would probably if you've never been arrested for assault before they're gonna send you to you're gonna have to go to a class Jay you're gonna have to pay for that class and everything uh, you, you know I'm not saying that you're gonna need counseling or anything like that it's completely up to the court If you've never convict, if you've never been convicted of a violent crime, and you assault pomps, okay, you, you could be battery. released on you could be released on your own reconnaissance. Battery, like the song by Metallica. <sighs> if that fucker shows up at the fight. He's not safe. I I will find people. I I will throw people's fucking phones in the fucking street before I beat that guy. Pomps is a fucking dead man if he shows up at the McLeod. I really don't. Fuck. Father, we have positive. I don't think Pomps wants me rapidly beating him in the head and face until the police show up. Just so he can have me thrown in jail for one night. How's that benefit him? Oh, and when the cops no, find out that you're an essential worker, right? I'm truck driver. This this guy this guy's fucking trolling me. Oh, and the response the fucking big wigs that my company had. When I when I said they attacked my mother, you should have seen their faces at my at my company meeting after Gorilla Juice and Rob Zilla attacked me. When I told them about the things they were doing to my mother, I wish I could have a screenshot of their face. I've never bring it on, bro. Bring it on. I I would gladly pound the living dog shit out of pumps. I don't, I don't care how much time from work I miss. He's such an easy mark. Uh, shark killers in the house. You ever seen a shark's eyes? They got those lifeless eyes, those black eyes. You think that almost look like a doll's eyes. Father. Now, Chipbird, Chipbird, just just to be, just to be fair, only one person is talking about beating the shit out of Pomps. I don't condone it. I think that it would be a distraction to the fight. But Jay's very volatile. He needs to eat more fish and rice. <laughs> Throw dog poop on Pomps, Del Ray Ripper. <laughs> Jay, Jay's going to take a bag of dog food, set it on fire, and he's going to throw it at Pops. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. No. I actually like Adam McLeod. Um, Adam McLeod is a reasonable person. Adam McLeod told me 
couple weeks ago, um, during the last round of bullshit he was going through, and he said, Jake, we talk. And I said, yes. Pomps is not the same kind of person. Pomps is a complete piece of shit. I don't want to hurt Adam McLeod. I like Adam McLeod. But Pomps, Pomp shows up, he's going down. And if, if I want to stay on jail, out of jail, I'll have people there th that'll beat Pomps. Pomps is not going to be welcome at the fight. Because. I'm a, one way or another, Pops is going to the hospital. It's one of those days in South Florida. One minute it's raining, then it's sunny and it's raining in the sun, then it stops, then it gets dark and it starts fucking raining again. Fuck me. Yeah. Well, you're gay. Did you call me gay? Yes. How dare you judge me, Jay? How dare you judge me that I'm gay? Just uh, because my wife wears a strap on. Go and get smokes. Are you taking us on a field trip? Uh, no, because that would disclose my location. I'm from Sunday. I'm in a time machine. Fa fa father and I were talking about a week ago, and he was like in Albuquerque. Yes. Father. Yeah. <laughs> David Moneo, Jay, where's your 1020? Delray Ripper Jay getting cardio. Shut up. Macho man Rick Savage. Need smokes. Need more beers. Actually running out of wind. <sighs> Concentrate on your breathing. <sighs> Changing around one one two. Is Jay winded from walking two blocks? Yes. Not very happy right now. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so sick of working. Well, I want to show the fans this. Let me see. There, it's fucking raining. All right. And there goes the car. There goes a car driving by the crib, all slow. I want to fight Tyler from RX Muscle. Please, guys, set it up. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. I'm in line to get smokes. Shipbird, you sent me really nasty messages. You wish nothing but hate and death upon me. 
Who? A guy, this guy, Shitbird, whatever he is, and now he wants to play nice. Okay, who was first? Who's on first? Who's on oh, second? He's getting another. That's, no, that's mine. The beer's mine. Okay, well. You're all right. I, I got enough space to move over. Don't worry. There's a beer in my beer. That I'm crying for you, dear. Ever since you went away. No, father is not wearing yellow and blue. He's wearing maize and blue. It's maize and blue. Get out. Yep. You too. Hello. Hi, just a beer? I need smokes too. Honey. Yeah. Um. I don't see any Chesterfields. How about some Lucky Strike menthol? Oh, you got gotcha? your. I guess if you got Chesterfield Menthol 100s, I'll take them. Yeah. Ch Chesterfield's my favorite. I need your driver's license for the beer, please. Oh, that's so flattering. Oh, I have to scan it. Chesterfield. Uh, look how old I am. Nine oh one. Just true romance. The movie True Romance with Dennis Hopper. Yeah. You're an eggplant. James. No. You're an eggplant. You're an egg. You're a fucking egg. Plant. Oh, look at how cute you are. You want a cigarette with me? <laughs> so cute. You're a fucking eggplant. Oh. Chester Fields. Talk about true romance while I get this ready. For those of you that don't know of the movie True Romance that Jay is talking about, uh, it stars Christian Slater. Um, I forgot the the young act the, the actress's name in that in that movie at the time. She ended up in the movie um, Stigmata, but that movie you you get to see a James Gandolfini in that movie. He has his own scene. Uh, Christopher Walken, Dennis Hopper. Um, you have the British actor that plays the white guy that acts like he's black and he's got dreadlocks. I forgot his name. Great British actor. Uh, it, it's just an all-star cast. Even Samuel L. Jackson has a cameo in that movie where, where unfortunately, he gets killed. Took um, off. But th that scene... That Jay Masters is talking about between, De I mean, two two pros, two guys that have a portfolio when it comes to movies: Dennis Hopper and Christopher Walken. And then you have never seen the face of a man as a man that killed you. That's what that's what that's what Christopher Walken says to Dennis Hopper's character. 
And it becomes evident to, to Dennis Hopper's character that he's going to die. These guys are going to fucking kill him. They're after his son. And he goes, you know what? He relaxes. He goes, you know what? I'll have one of those Chesterfields. <laughs> and now here's the thing. That scene, I do not consider it racist because the guy that wrote that movie, Quentin Tarantino, he wrote that scene because there was a there was this black guy that he knew for years, and I think since he was a kid, that knew that and told him that. And when his friend saw that scene in that movie, he goes, more people need to know that. All right. When the Moors invaded, it's all historical fact. The Moors invaded Italy. They got to Sicily. Um, blonde hair, blue eyes became dark hair, dark eyes. <laughs> Let's see if father notices. Yeah, I see your ears, little faggot. You're the one who brought it up. What? Oh, what up? Wow, look at that. Like that. That's what you do for the big J for the UK, the black and white. No, but Jay, but Jay, you run that account. Sure I do. I feel Look like on. I'm in that music video with that British group, Aha, Take On Me. Take on me. Yeah, but you're saying that like you want a gangbang in the ass. Take me on. Ugh. Jay, that's what the olive oil and mayonnaise is for. <laughs> um, coconut oil. Johnny there Bravo. Johnny Bravo is always lubed up for a butt fuck. <laughs> Jay, Jay, you're being modest. Now, don't hold back now. No. <laughs> I'm sick of these. <coughs> Rob Fitness is no fucking angel. But I don't like all the bullying of Big Rob Fitness. Big Rob Fitness had the balls to fly to Florida, hang out with the Delray Misfits, Big Lenny. Ugh. And I don't know. Adam McLeod still thinks he's the one who... who you notice McLeod didn't show up that day. That day that, that Big Rob filmed with the Delray Misfits, why wasn't McLeod there? Two reasons. McLeod wasn't invited by the Delray Misfits, or McLeod was scared. Which one you want to pick? Which one you want to pick? He was not invited by Prince Andrew, Brad, and Lenny. Which is actually better than, than saying he was afraid. Maybe they did invite him and he was afraid. But I think it's funnier if he was not invited. That shows that they really don't want a part of him. Uh. 
you know, I'd I'd like to get I'd like to get Lenny on camera, saying all the things he says in private about Adam McLeod. Now, I like Lenny. I don't want to start any shit with Lenny, um, but I'm going to tell you guys, mano a mano, Lenny is for some reason afraid to speak on camera the truth about McLeod. Maybe someone could explain that to me. Why is Lenny protecting McLeod? It has nothing to do with Big Rob. Because Big, Big Rob and Lenny broke bread, to quote Adam McLeod. I'm sure after Big after Big Rob was in town, he went and broke bread with all the misfits. Why wasn't Adam McLeod in, invited? Why wasn't Adam McLeod there when the Delray misfits <laughs> and Andrew filming Brad, Lenny, I don't remember who else was there. They they all felt, they all did a gym video, and then went and broke bread to quote Adam McLeod. Why wasn't McLeod there breaking bread? If McLeod's such a tough. Now you see, Jay. That's that's you, you talk about breaking bread. I want to. I want Big Rob Fitness to feel safe. I I want I want to take him and you to fucking Don Ramon. Okay. Have some fucking cube steaks, some fucking rice and beans, some fried plantains. You know, Rob isn't going to drink any beer. I want you to at least have some skunk beer, some Heineken. And, um, you know, and break bread with each other. Make them feel comfortable. But we have outside influences that want to continue to troll him. It's... Eh. Lenny has already given up on the Big Rob uh, conspiracy that Big Rob got him fired. That shit's yeah, he, over. Yeah, he's not going to seek any type of litigation, nothing. His his time's over. Oh, you're forgetting about when Big Rob showed up and filmed with the Delray Misfits with no Adam McLeod. Enough. Hold on a minute. Lefty Nero. I just want to address something real quick. Lefty Nero. Bro, cube steaks are terrible. Cheapest steak you can buy. Yes, but... <clears throat> I mean, unless Jay and Big Rob, which Big Rob will not do, Big Rob is not going to eat pork. Okay? Maybe Big Rob wants some roasted chicken. Okay? Okay? <sighs> I think Big Rob's all talk. I, I don't think Big Rob is actually a practicing Muslim. Was I'm was Big, Yeah, Big Rob is not a terrorist. These things that people are saying about Big Rob are wrong. Big Americanized. Okay. You know, Jay, I need to look up the, the, the baseball schedule. Okay, now hear me out for a moment. I need to look up the baseball schedule as far as the, the, the Miami Marlins and as far as interleague play, if the Detroit Lions come, not the Detroit Lions, the Detroit Tigers come down here and play the Marlins. Can you imagine... Can you imagine going to a Miami Marlins game and the Detroit Tigers are in town and you invite Big Rob? That's, I mean, that's going to be monumental. I got to look that up now. I got to look up the schedule as far as interleague play. I even brought it up with um, my girlfriend, Linda, who's from Queens, New York, and, and Joe Piotaro from Muscle Sports Mag. 
I want to go see the Tigers play the Mets in Queens. And um, Linda said, I have no interest in that. But I, I think Joe Piataro would be game. If I said I was going to see the Mets and the Tigers, Joe P would be there like a motherfucker. But my girlfriend, Linda, who, who's from Queens, has no interest. Yeah, let's do it. Are there any traditions that the Detroit Tigers do as far as, like, the, the seventh inning stretch or anything? As far as their fans at their stadium? Uh, they do the take me out to the ballpark, the seventh inning stretch. I can see I can see Big Rob Fitness just stand, not even not sitting, standing up, singing that song. You know what I mean? Detroit could be ahead by who knows how many runs are down. It wouldn't matter. He would be all into it. He'd be sold out to it. Okay. Too bad football isn't played in the spring because we, we take him to the Miami Hurricanes game. Dale Chance has it, it, it spread this rumor that Big Rob wants nothing to do with this fight. I guarantee goddamn to you, Big Rob would be more fun at a baseball game than Dale Chance or Adam McLeod. See now that's that's the thing that I that I disagree with. There there are a lot of individuals out there that want to say that this is never going to happen, Gabe. Cuban, this is never going to happen. Well, I need to go through the motions first. OK, let me go through the motions first. Allow me that chance to go through the motions. OK, Rob is being heavily trolled. OK, he doesn't feel safe. And he lacks the motivation. As far as I see on my list, there's only three things to uh, to address. It's not a litany. That's not a litany of problems. That's a short list. Okay? I still think that this can happen. Yeah, I don't think a little twerp like Dale Chance can stand in the way. I'm not trolling Big Rob. I, I mean, if, if Lenny accepts Big Rob... And Prince Andrew has accepted Big Rob. All the misfits that filmed with Big Rob have given up on McCuck's fake screenshots. If you look back at, at Big Rob's visit very recently when he filmed with the Delray Misfits, none of them have a problem with Big Rob... Uh, the, the rumors of Big Rob getting Lenny fired. Now, hold on a minute. One of the things, one of the stipulations that you had talked about, which makes total sense, okay? This fight goes down. Rob, Big Rob Fitness, gets exclusive rights to video from his YouTube live, nobody else, okay? Lenny, I think that Lenny and I can sit down with each other at ringside and commentate the fight and allow Big Lenny to go live on his YouTube just, just videoing us commentating the fight, okay? This, this has, I, I haven't given up on this, this has so much potential this could benefit Big Rob Fitness so much. That's why I haven't given up on it. It's a win-win for everyone. Everyone. 
Pat McCock. What's that? Pat McCock. That's okay. That's a separate argument. But the Delray Misfits welcomed Big Rob to South Florida and filmed with him with open arms. Even though their quote unquote friend, Adam McLeod, had, had proved without a shadow of a doubt that Big Rob got Lenny fired. But it, it seems like Lenny and, and the Delray Misfits don't give two fucks about Adam McLeod. Now, that now, is that a fact on your part or is it speculation or reasonable um, discernment? I'm just speculating. If, if, if Andrew or Brad or Lenny thought that Big Rob was behind getting Lenny fired, why would they welcome him to come down and film with open arms? Oh, boy. They, they completely spit in Adam McLeod's face without saying it. You notice Adam McLeod wasn't there. Big Rob was. I wasn't invited. Right. That wasn't long ago that Big Rob was at the gym with Lenny and Andrew. Was it, wasn't Brad there, if I'm not mistaken? I, 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 no, I don't, I don't think he was there. Okay. All right, so not Brad. I'm talking on my ass. But basically, the Delray Misfits as a whole are not holding Rob accountable for getting Lenny fired. Otherwise, Big Rob would not have been in Florida filming with the Delray Misfits. Well, then here, here's the question. I mean, we could do an Unsolved Mysteries episode on this. If Big Rob Fitness is not responsible for getting Lenny fired, then who is? Lenny doesn't seem to care at this point. You, you notice Lenny's not interfering with this fight. Lenny, Lenny would love to see Big Rob and Adam McLeod fight. If anybody DMs Lenny, Lenny's going to say, yeah, let's do it. All right, this live is ending. Um, I haven't lost faith. At least we have a backup plan. We got David Moreno in it, and he doesn't have a problem with, with McLeod. God bless everybody.